Hey, hey, hey. You want quality at bats, guys. Get down. Quality at bats. There's a hole. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, down. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. And in the past, when I play for rock stars, I first sit down there like that. We come out of this game, we get a couple lines, so let's do it. Come on. I'm not right, sure. Hits on three, hits on three, one, two, three, hits! Oh. Oh. Got a duck home. Yeah. Oh. Rockstar TV here, Matthew Ali, man. Today is a very special interview, man. We got Dominique Smith. Let's go, right First up. round, over 11th overall right pick up. to the New York Mets, man. Thank you for coming out. Uh, Let's go, right now. I want you to take me back to uh, draft day, brother. Draft day, yeah. Draft day was a, was an amazing experience for me. It was pretty surreal and uh, nerve-wracking and a ton of emotions uh, racing for me and I mean, able to get drafted 11th overall with the dream come true. That's amazing, man. Uh, you sat out to uh, to meet that goal. At what point did you realize that this is what I wanted to do professionally? Yeah, probably uh, when, I, when I got... <laughs> Go ahead. It's all good. I hit it with that. I know y'all gotta get busy, man. <laughs> hey, bring it over here. Yeah. Um, bring it up, bring it up. When I got into high school, that's when I really, really, uh, I knew that I wanted to, to become a professional baseball player. And I knew that the goal was pretty reachable. I've been watching it on TV at a younger age, and it seems so far away. It seems pretty much impossible, but. I got into high school, uh, I really uh, set uh, foot forward and worked really hard and I wanted to make it make it possible. You said it seemed far away, man, but when you got drafted, brother, you put a lot of people on your back, man. You gave uh, hope to a lot of these kids out here. They look at you and say, hey, man, Domo, he did it, bro. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, kids from anywhere can do it, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. It's just a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, time put in. And, Bless her and the tears for the most part. And, and passion, you just gotta want it. You gotta be passionate about the game. You gotta want it and you just work on it. Yeah, man, uh, these initiatives and everything that the MLB developed, man, did you realize that they was looking for you, bro? Uh, you and, and cats like JP. You know what I'm saying? You guys yeah. have been the face for RBI and for, and for the draft yeah. here the last couple of years. Tell me about that, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, like I said, another surreal moment is that. And, I mean, the last inner city kid to, to get drafted in the first round was, was Darren Strawberry. So, um, just to, just for my name to be with, 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 uh, with Straw's name and being the face of uh, RBI program and uh, things like that is just a major accomplishment for me. And um, it's, it is a big deal. But at the same time, it just shows the kids that, um, that it's something uh, touchable, meaning they can achieve it. Right. You talk about Straw, man. I just think about seeing you with him. And, uh, tell me, was he a mentor for you? Or how did he help you out? Yeah, Straw gave me some advice. I mean, some of the things he just told me is to, to just relax and have fun. I mean, don't worry about the media. Don't worry about the, the people and the fans. And just play your game. I mean, so that's what I've been doing. I've been playing my game. And I'm my, and I just been enjoying uh, the process and, and everything that's came with it. Nice, man. Now, um, um, I want to ask you a couple of questions, man. Just some simple questions. Uh, what's the first thing Dominique thinks or does when he wakes up in the morning? Uh, first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is... I see you working, uh, man. Get a nice little uh, breakfast right from my sister. Really? She makes me a nice, healthy breakfast. And then, uh, you know, um, I'll, oh, I'll pray oh, for all that first oh, off. And, and after oh, all of that, uh, I'll just uh, take, a, take a couple. One of the outfielders. No problem. Wow. Uh, high pants, high socks, or relaxed fit pants? Relax with pants. I like uh, playing comfortable, so I feel that's the most comfortable. Get away with pants. 
I'm going to cut in here because I messed this thing up. This is the second interview that me and Domo is doing, man. So it seems a little awkward, but we're going to get it done because I had to get this man on tape, man. And I want to hear from his perspective, and the kids want to hear from you, man, because they look up to you. And, I mean, man, you, 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 everything that, uh, that, that we've been dreaming of. I'm talking about the baseball community, bro, as far as uh, representation. I don't, want, I don't want to go too political, but... Uh, seven percent, six six some percent African American representation exactly. in, in Major League Baseball, exactly. and not only Major League Baseball in baseball. Period, man. You're talking about kids coming out of inner city that can't make the high school team, man. Exactly. And here we have uh, outstanding player in Dominique Smith coming forth, who's right right here from where we're from, man. Exactly. Yeah, that's 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 really dope, man. Tell me a little bit about uh, your go-to music, man. What's your walkout song when you're coming out? Uh, my walkout song uh, when I'm coming out is uh, I mean, either some Drake or some some, uh, some Cool Boy Q, uh, Kendrick Lamar. I like to change it up. Yeah. I mean, actually, my nickname is Jewish Jukebox. Yeah. Because every home stand out change my walkout song. Yeah, man. I follow you on IG, man. You always post different music and, and whatnot, man. And, Y'all don't. If y'all don't follow, follow this man on uh, Instagram. Tell me a little bit about your uh, your your days coming up as a youth, man. You played with the rock stars. Now you out here giving back. Tell me a little bit about uh, Coach Eric and the program. Yeah, I mean, uh, the rock stars are ran by a fantastic coach and a uh, fantastic guy, and, and the coach Eric and. I mean, he runs the program professionally, but uh, he doesn't just keep it as a baseball program. I mean, he, he really loves his players, and he treats them like a family. So he wants the best for all of his kids, and that's why I enjoy playing with him. All my best friends now that play with me on the Rock Stars, and um, that just shows you the program he runs as a family. So uh, that's why I'm here. Tell me a little bit about that, man. This is a BBG, man. Tell me a little bit about the BBG, man. When I saw that, I embraced it for myself, man. And uh, I sought out the guys who was a part of that family. These guys won the, brought the CIF championship back to the hood, man, from uh, Sarah, Sarah High School. Tell me a little bit about that in your voice. Oh. So we coaching at the same time, so. Yeah, so. Um, it's, it was pretty amazing that, uh, that, that my, my core group of guys were able to play high school with me and we'll call ourselves BBG. And uh, I mean, a lot of people wanna, wanna take the name and run with it and stuff like that, which is which is really cool. I mean, imitation is the highest form of flattery. So, I mean, I love it and I enjoy it. And I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family. So our core guys were able to, to, to work hard from our freshman year and finally achieve our goal, which is win the championship our senior year. And uh, I had a blast with those guys. I wish we could still all play together to this day. Yeah, did you galvanize that? Did you come together? Because I was told that they said, uh, you guys made a pact and said, we're going we're gonna to win from now on. Exactly. And that's what happened. Exactly, we did that. We uh, set it off to ourselves our freshman year that we were going to all go to one school and we are going to stick together and we are going to work hard and play for each other. And and uh, if we do all that, then we would come home with a championship. So we eventually did that and came home with a championship. Awesome, man. Give me one piece of advice that you can give to these kids out here that play for the rock stars. Kids that's playing baseball, period, man. They can take, put it in their heart and in their mind and then bring it back out to the field. And they can say, man, I'm learning this from Dominique. Yeah, you know I mean, you only live once, and uh, your baseball and window for opportunity in baseball is really short, so you have to make the most out of your opportunities, and you can't really get caught up in anything you can't control. I mean, you got to play hard, work hard every day, and, and the rest is out of your hands. So if you do those things at the end of the day, ultimately, I promise you your goal will be complete, whether it's going to school, getting drafted, or... or Playing for fun, so hey, if you just work hard, be passionate, and and, and uh, really take your craft seriously, everything will be fine. And you do, uh, Coach. He said, uh, "Greatest baseball mind that he's ever coached." Thinking about the game, not just playing it physically. 
and that says a lot about you, man, and your baseball IQ. You've been studying this thing for a while, huh? Yeah, I've been, I mean, I've been studying this game since I was 10, 11 years old. I mean, just studying it while I watch games in my, in my uniform at home. I watch Angel games, that's my favorite team, and I watch all games and just study the players and the batting stance and what they do. And I mean, that's just a little bit of my passion I have for the game. I mean, it's bigger than a game. I mean, it's a way of life for me. Hey, you heard it here, man, from a first round draft pick. Hey, man, I'm Matthew Ali. It's Rockstar Nation, New York Mets, BBG, Dominique Smith. We out here. Where you at? Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bro. Hey, man. Awesome. Sorry, but we had to do it twice. You better duck home. Yeah. Oh. 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 You better.